My name is Alex Wynn. I'm a junior at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. In the wake of the tragedy on February 14th, we, as students, as youths, decided that if adults weren't going to take action, we would. No gun-related legislation has been passed in this country since 2008, 10 years ago. Since 2008, there have been at least 95 mass shootings in this country and hundreds and thousands more just ma senseless violence on the cities of our nation and cities like Miami, Chicago, and Baltimore. It needs to stop. People believe that the youth of this country are insignificant. People believe that the youths have no voice. When Joan of Arc fought back English forces, she was 17 years old. When Mozart wrote his first symphony, he was eight years old. To those people that tell us that teenagers can't do anything, I say that we were the only people that could have made this movement possible. Together, we will use our voices to make sure that our schools, churches, movie theaters, and concerts, and our streets become safer without having them feel like prisons. If teachers start packing heat, are they going to arm our pastors, ministers, and rabbis? Are they going to arm the guy scanning tickets at the movie theater? Are they going to arm the person wearing the Mickey Mouse costume at Disney? This is what the National Rifle Association wants, and we will not stand for it. We would not need metal detectors and clear backpacks and more weapons in our streets if there weren't weapons of war in the hands of civilians. For too long, our government has been useless on this, on this issue. Our job as their constituents is to make sure we know what they're thinking. There are over 250 representatives that have not come out with a public stance on this issue. It is our job to make sure that we call them up and force them out of the shadows of corruption and into the light of justice. As teens, people think that we don't like to wait around for things, and they're sometimes right. <laughs> A lot of you are probably wondering, what now? Now, we need to come together on all fronts and push aside those that divide us. Now we need to get on the phone and call our representatives and push them to stop incumbency and take action. Now we need to educate ourselves on which politicians are truly working for the people and which ones we want to vote out. Because at the end of the day, bullets do not discriminate, so why should we? It is not about your race. It is not about your sexual orientation. It is not about your ethnicity. It is not about your gender. It is not about where you live or how much money you make. And it most certainly is not about political party. All it comes down to is life or death. To all the politicians out there, if you take money from the NRA, you have chosen death. If you have not expressed to your constituents a public stance on this issue, you have chosen death. If you do not stand with us by saying we need to pass common sense gun legislation, you have chosen death. And none of the millions of people marching in this country today will stop until they see those against us out of office. Because we choose life! Thank you, I love you all!